Hello, this is a video for fire signs. <clears throat> Aries, Leo, Sag. We're going to find out exactly what it is. What is this expectation that you're showing or having, delivering, experiencing, or putting on others around you? So let's talk about this. Let's talk about this for fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sag. First card comes up is, I want to talk about Aries, Aries in particular. Aries, your card comes up as the Nine of Pentacles. So Aries, with the Nine of Pentacles, hopefully you can see that. With the Nine of Pentacles, this card, Aries, <clears throat> in reference to expectations. A lot of you may read certain books certain columns, certain paragraphs, certain Googled ideas about what to put on as far as an expectation on a partner, a loved one, a family member. For Aries, it feels as if boundaries are really important to you. Aries, it's like, you know, you definitely will welcome someone in, but at the same time, when they're there long enough, time to go. Your boundaries are always showing up, Aries, no matter what you're doing, no matter who you're doing it with. The nice thing about Aries is that you tend to make everyone feel at home, make everyone feel welcomed. At the same time, I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't know if I put that, if I put this... Hold on a second, you guys. Okay, uh, hopefully you can see this card, but I think you'd be able to see it better if it was up higher. I don't know how to make it higher. Unless I put my remote here, maybe that'll work. Okay, so that is a little bit better. Hopefully it'll hold up. So, Aries, what I'm trying to say is where you guys are concerned. Again, you're very kind. You're very generous. You're very loving. You're very open and affectionate. To a certain degree. You're also wanting love, needing love, and wishing for love. And I see that. But the expectations that you're putting on someone else shows to be more about how you want them to act. How, that, how you want them to respond. How you want them to feel. How you want them, say, to kiss. How you want them to make love to you. How you want them to do all sort of things. Rather than just allowing them to be who they are. Allowing them to express themselves exactly the way they are. Because both of you are not going to <clears throat> express love in the same way. The way you see love may be through a vision. It may be through them doing things for you. Or taking care of you or buying things. It may be a vision thing. For them, it could be uh, something that they hear. Maybe words of affirmation. Wow, you look really great today. Or, wow, you look really nice today. Or, um, wow, you look so beautiful today. Or so handsome today. Now, those roles <clears throat> for Aries can be reversed. So, Aries, you could be the one that likes more of hearing the affirmations than, than seeing uh, with a vision that somebody cares for you. Aries, you may be the one who doesn't want somebody to just clean up around the house or fold the clothes and that's their way of saying they love you. You really may want the one to express to you how much they love you, how much they need you, how important you are to them, how appreciative they are toward you. So Aries, be careful of the expectations that you set out for someone or even the expectations that you allow someone to put on you. Okay. Leo, your situation is definitely a lot about family. You love that precious time. You love that family time. You love that quality. A lot of you have expectations where your family is concerned that may have to do with expecting someone to always fix things for you, prepare things for you, maybe create meals for you, maybe um, take care of your laundry for you, maybe doing all these different things, maybe um, you're wanting to be taken care of. And Leos may see that being taken care of 
is what you see as love. Somebody paying your bills or, or paying something for you or um, making purchases or, um, again, doing things for you. But you may not see love the way your partner sees it or hears it or feels it. So Leo's where you're concerned. Your partner may be silly and goofy and funny. And that's how they show love. Your partner may spend time with you or do things with you. And that's how they show love. Your partner may cook a meal for you. And that's how they show love. That's their way of saying, I love you. Your partner may just show up every day for lunch. And that's their way of saying, I love you. Again, the way you receive it and give it is a different way than they receive it and give it. But there's a lot of different things going on here with expectations. Even, like I said, where family is concerned. Don't expect Leo's family to always be there for you to fix, resolve, and heal an issue. Things are always changing. Energy is always moving. You're not going to deal with something the same way today as you did before. It is important, Leos, to set boundaries on people. And even once you do get married, know that a lot of people marry their best friend. And that's pretty much what I see Leo's going to do. Talking a lot, expressing a lot. A lot of men can't get into real deep conversations too well. It makes them uncomfortable. But for some of us, this relationship, once you get into a relationship, having open communication, laughing, joking, knowing that your spouse, your partner, is your best friend. And even though they're, they're your best friend, they're your partner, and you still have a circle of friends as well, your partner has now taken a different level than just a friend to you. That level of friendship is now brought up to relationship, union, partnership, marriage. It's a little bit different. It doesn't mean you're not still friends, but it's a little bit different. So be careful of the expectations. Make sure you understand that attention and energy are pretty much one of the same thing. For some of you here, Leo's, Sometimes you might have to drop your plans or cancel your plans to do something for your partner. Or they may have to drop their plans or cancel their plans or call out of work or something to take care of you. That's where it changes from friendship to partnership, relationship. However, not getting upset because your expectations apparently failed because you put them on the other person or the other person put expectations on you and you didn't meet them and that upsets them and it creates an argument. It shouldn't be that way. If we can go through the life without expecting, putting expectations on someone, there'll be a lot less arguments, a lot less pressure and a lot more balance. Okay. Sagittarius, your card is about expectations, may be about your partner, again, giving you something. It may be about you giving to your partner. It may be about receiving and not just not giving. Some of you, Sagittarians, may expect that somebody should always be giving you something or every time they see you, they should bring you something or every time you're with them, they should do something for you. That's not a very healthy expectation to put on somebody. And it does eventually become a routine, which is no longer a surprise. The admiration that they feel for you is amazing, but they shouldn't have to bring a gift every single time they see you to show you how much they appreciate you. If they didn't appreciate you or want to be around you, they wouldn't even come to see you. Let's reverse that now. For Sages, you the same way would not have to always bring something or do something or spend money on them or pay their bills, or cook for them, or clean for them, or wash their clothes, or do any of that stuff. That's something you may have done a few times to help out, but that isn't something that should have an expectation. 
They shouldn't come home from work or whatever and say, you didn't wash my clothes. You didn't do the laundry. You didn't make dinner. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So don't allow something to diminish your world, so to speak. For some of you, you're going to be hurting your own future um, when you allow somebody to expect always something from you. The most that somebody should expect is that you'll be loyal and faithful, that you'll always be honest, always willing to communicate. But other than that, again, we all have one person that we can put expectations on, which is God himself, Jesus Christ himself. That is one person that will never let you down. It may not happen in your timing, but he will never let you down. When you put expectations on another person, this then can become a very struggling issue. An issue in our lives that when we look at relationships, it is our priorities. A lot of us, there's some things that our friends may understand more than our partner does. There's some things that we want to be able to talk about that maybe sometimes they just don't get. But either way, this is going to work out because you're going to talk your problem through. A lot of you are definitely finding balance here between you and your partner and things are going to be in your favor very soon. Some of you may feel that some of the arguments that you've had in the past were quite ridiculous. And the reason they were is because they were arguments that were stemmed out of expectations. So this is a video just to remind you guys to pay careful attention to expectations. Air signs. <clears throat> Your situation with expectations seem to always keep you on guard make you feel defensive expectations of someone else because they disappoint you make you think too hard or overthink a situation feel like you need to defend yourself feel like somebody's doing something against you so be careful air signs gemini libra aquarius this card pretty much with gemini's gemini's again don't be on the defensive okay be very careful, but don't be on the defensive. Libras. Libras being very creative. But some of you are afraid to show what you can really do. Some of you only have touched the surface of your creative side and really need to let loose and show somebody really what you're capable of doing. You have so many clever ideas, but you don't follow them through. You definitely need to do that. That will increase your money greatly. Aquarius, your way of getting expectations is through meditation, trying to manifest things to you, trying to sort out the good, the bad, the or indifferent. For some of you Aquarians, yoga, balance, Pilates, whatever, helps you to gain mental clarity as well. But remember about expectations. You can only expect what you give out to be returned. Water signs, cancer. Cancer, some things turn out for you in the tower moment. Some things kind of backfired where expectations were concerned in your life. You may have put too many expectations on a partner, and this is why it kind of separated, or they put too many expectations on you. The pressure was very strong. The universe dissolved that very quick. Pisces, your expectations. You might have thought that you could have done this romance or this partnership or this relationship by following somebody else's rules or guides, by following things you may have Google researched, things that you may have looked up. Maybe you got it in a book. Maybe it was in a romance book and somebody didn't live up to the romance part that, they, that you thought they would the way you read it in a book. It didn't happen that way. For Scorpio... Yours may have been through 
a wish or through finances. You may have had expectations on somebody to continue to pay for something, buy something, take care of you that way financially. Or somebody you were with, Scorpio, may have wanted you to take care of them financially. Feeling like uh, it's okay that you buy me everything or you do everything for me. I don't have to do nothing for myself. Some of you have even gone as far, Scorpios, to pay your partner's speeding tickets. Are you kidding me? Or paid something that would have had a warrant if it wasn't taken care of. Earth signs. Capricorn. Capricorn. Yours is the lover's card. So your expectation may have been in the intimacy department. Expecting your partner to do certain things maybe they didn't want to do. Or vice versa. Your partner expected you to do certain things in the intimate department that you just weren't willing to do. This may have made you uncomfortable. This may have made you feel as if you were being pressured into something that just wasn't working. That's what could have caused the relationship problem with you guys. Taurus, your situation of expectations is where you became the hermit because you were pulling back, not wanting to give enough time or not expecting somebody to want to be with you every day or every night or spend a lot of time. You still have boundaries here. You're pushing somebody back. You're trying to push them back away so that they don't get too close. You're afraid of getting hurt again. And it feels like, Taurus, you just don't know whether to trust them or not. That's what's showing up here. Virgo, your card is in fact the Four of Pentacles. And with the Four of Pentacles and expectations, Virgo, this card talks about... Let me just push it up here. This card talks about not sure. You're ready. You're looking to see or you're expecting them to show up or you're expecting them to call or you're expecting them to text and they have no idea that that's what you're expecting. They have no idea that you're wanting them to do this, that, and the other thing. They don't realize that they're supposed to call you every day. For some of you, this is a very brand new relationship and they just didn't know that that's what they're expected for you to do or them to do. Or on the other hand, they could be putting expectations on you, expecting you to do something, expecting you to call them, expecting you to ask them out, expecting you to make plans for something. They could be sitting there waiting for the phone to ring or the text message to come through, and you could be sitting there waiting for the phone ring or the text message to come through, and nothing's happening, and everybody's wondering why. And then you're checking each other's Facebook pages, saying, okay, well, they were on Facebook an hour ago. Oh, well, they did this an hour ago. They hit my like button an hour ago. But nobody's talking. Nobody's responding. That is putting an expectation. So with that being said, this was a quite interesting video that I decided to do. But it was very important to talk about expectations. Stay tuned for what's coming up next.